Hi guys, so today's video is going to be my last video of this year's back to school series and it's going to be 10 tips for college freshmen. So hopefully this video comes in handy and let's just get right into it. Okay, so the first tip that I have for you guys is to not be afraid to do things alone. And I know that when you guys are in high school, you kind of get really comfortable with just being with your friends all the time and doing things with your specific group of friends. I know that there are a lot of times where People are kind of scared to go to like a certain college by themselves because none of their friends are going there, but that's honestly kind of a blessing in disguise because when you are by yourself, it allows you to kind of venture off and explore different groups of people. And sometimes when you go to college knowing someone, you kind of get used to just sticking with them the whole time and you don't really get to do your own thing. But it honestly just forces you to get out of your comfort zone because that's basically what college is about. It's just breaking out of your comfort zone and just doing things that you're not really used to doing. So by going to college alone or by going to classes alone and all that kind of stuff, just doing things on your own, it kind of helps you break out of your shell and forces you to socialize with other people. The second tip that I have for you guys is to get involved on campus. Honestly, if you guys are commuting to your school, it's gonna feel like high school. You're living at home, you drive to school, you get your classes done, and then you go home after. I don't know about you guys, but I didn't really want my college experience to feel like high school because it's, it's just such a different experience and I wanted that college experience. So definitely if you're commuting especially, get involved on campus. And there's a bunch of clubs, there's a bunch of um, sororities and fraternities, there's just a bunch of different things that you can do. Intramural sports for example. Um, but yeah, there's so many ways to get involved and there's literally a club for almost everything. So being involved on campus can also help you get jobs because these clubs and um, any type of organizations that you're joining, you can put them on your resume. So the third tip is to utilize your email. When you go to college, you're gonna get a campus email and that's what your professors are gonna use to communicate with you. This is so important because especially for if you're taking online classes, you have no direct contact with your professors besides your email. And if you have any questions, you have to email them um, to get any answers back or you have to go all the way to campus to ask them those questions. In addition, um, when professors cancel classes, they will email you the, either the day before or the morning of, so just make sure you check your emails in the morning because you don't want to be that person that drives to school for like 30 minutes, gets there, and then your class is canceled. And then another thing that professors will do um, through email is to let you know of important dates where your projects are due, tests that you have, anything that is due on a specific day, usually big, big projects or big tests, professors will email you just to remind you to turn those things in or to study for them. So the fourth tip that I have for you guys is to stay organized and stay on top of your work. When you're in college, like I said in my other video, you don't really have anyone babying you and just telling you to do all of your assignments, get everything done. So it's really important for you to keep track of your own work. Professors aren't going to baby you, so you need to make sure that you have everything in a planner of some sort just so that you know like what work is due and when you have tests because you don't want to get off track and then your grades are going to suffer and that's just not going to be a good story. The fifth tip that I have is to make sure you get the contact information of at least a couple of people in each of your classes. When you're in high school, you pretty much know most of the kids in your class or you have friends in or at least a couple of friends in your classes and you already have their contact information but when you get to college you're not going to really know anyone so it's important to get their contact information in case you miss class or in case they miss class um, a lot of the times what you can do is if you miss class on one day you can contact that person and just ask if you can use their notes or if there's anything in class that you missed you can contact them and then if they miss class they can do you can do the same for them so it's just a good way to make sure that you're staying on top of your work and also it's a good way to get to know people in your class so the sixth tip that I have is to utilize your resources that you have on campus what you don't realize is that your university or the tuition fee that you're paying for college includes so many different things a couple of the things that my tuition covers is like the gym at school you get free admission to the gym free admission to like basketball games and like just any type of sports events you also get um, to go to the healthcare center for free so if you get sick you can go to your healthcare center and use the facility and also they give you like discounts on like prescriptions there's like a career center where you can look for job offers and it's a really good way to get a job because it's going through the school so they know that you're like a good candidate for the position and then the last one that I want to tell you guys was about was um, our school has like a writing center so you can take in your cover letter and your resume and there's people that can help you there for free editing your paper and 
kind of just fixing it up just so that it looks a lot more professional. So just knowing what your school has to offer is super important because you do want to utilize those resources since you are basically paying for them. You're not paying for them out of pocket, but your tuition fee covers it. Okay, so the seventh tip is that if you guys are commuting, make sure to give yourself time to find parking. I don't know about the school that you guys are going to, but the school that I went to, the parking was terrible. I It's so crazy because they make you pay like $220 for a parking permit and you're not even guaranteed a spot in the parking structures. So you need to make sure that you go to school early, give yourself at least 30 minutes. There have been a couple of times where some of my friends have gotten to school and like they couldn't find parking so they literally didn't even go to class because they couldn't find parking. So make sure you get to school early and give yourself time to find parking because you're definitely going to need it. So the eighth tip that I have is to go to the library as often as you can because personally for me, when I came home and I tried to study, it was a mess. I got really distracted and when I went to the library, I was focused. I don't know, I just felt like I got so much work done there and I was so productive. I just felt like going to the library really helped bump my grades up and I just feel like I should have gone there more often because I feel like if I did, my grades would have been a lot better. I still had good grades, but I'm telling you, I probably could have gotten straight A's if I went to the library all the time. The ninth tip is kind of just something from personal experience and it's that the freshman 15 is real. I'm letting you guys know that right now. So if you guys are at all concerned about gaining weight in college or just not being able to stay healthy in college, it is a thing and if you really want to try to stay healthy, you really need to make an effort because when I was dorming, we had like a cafeteria and all their food was so unhealthy and it's basically unlimited food. So you can just go in there whenever you want, get food whenever you're hungry but it's not the best food for you. So if you guys are really into like staying healthy, you guys need to make an effort to do that. Also, my school had a gym and I went there to play basketball a lot and I feel like that really helped me get my weight back down. So if you guys have a gym at your school, the tuition should include it. So definitely utilize um, your school gym. A lot of times they offer classes so you can take like the classes. I think I've taken like Zumba, they have taken like Zumba a couple times at school, but it's really fun to go to the gym. So if you guys are interested in like keeping your weight down and just staying healthy in college, so just make sure that you watch what you eat because it can be really easy in college to kind of just forget about your eating habits. And the second thing is to use your school gym. And the 10th tip that I have for all of you guys that are entering college this year is to just have fun with your college experience. Honestly, it goes by so 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 fast you don't even realize how fast it goes by so just kind of step out of your comfort zone in college it's a time to kind of find yourself and explore and just enjoy it try not to stress out too much about your grades grades are important but they aren't everything to me college was more about um, enjoying the entire experience not just about getting good grades and all that kind of stuff so yeah just have fun go out do fun things with your friends and yeah just basically make the best out of it because college only happens once so I really hope that you guys enjoyed that video and if you guys are college freshmen and found it helpful, give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And also if you guys want to check out my latest two videos, I'll have them linked right over here and I'll also have my playlist for all this back to school stuff linked down in the description box below. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet, click right up there to subscribe. Wait, is it right here? It's either up here or over here and then it's also linked down in the description box. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!